Welcome back to the 2023 Lundby Park and Open. This is the second event of the 2023 Swedish Disc Golf Pro Tour. Presented by Clash Discs is this event. And I'm Andrew Fish, joined here by Max Rukitnik. How's it going, guys? Uh, we are delighted with Gatekeeper Media to be seeing uh, the international scene. Uh, and that's brought to us by a whole bunch of partners of the Swedish Disc Golf Pro Tour. It takes a village to get stuff done. And uh, we saw some pretty good golf out of our feature card on the front. Yeah, some fireworks. I mean, we saw an ace by Yusuf, saw some great birdies, but also some big numbers. So hopefully to clean that up. Yeah, pretty technical lines that we've seen in the woods, uh, almost entirely in the woods in the front. Yeah, a lot of trees to contend with. Looks like some teeth in the in the rough. So yeah, hole 10. We got a 86 meter par three. Looks like you can kind of pick your poison here, bend some shots, maybe a little turnover with a late right to left finish. Eric's got the box after a couple birdies, getting him back to par. We saw him struggle a little bit with his release point in the early going, but may have found it on holes eight and nine. Oscar Axelson, the course owner of Lundby Parkin, and uh, as noted previously, only going to play with four discs. So uh, get used to them, know them well. He certainly does. Yeah, showing the hyzer line, not the line the drone was <laughs> flying. So yeah, he was a following following suit there. Got a bit of an unlucky roll, but. It looks to me like if you throw that right side purely, it, it does funnel you to long. You're not looking to park it if you take that side. Yeah, maybe Unless. just playing the percentages, but yeah, it looked like he kicked off a tree there late, so maybe that's the maybe that's the play. A little bank shot off the tree. Yusuf comes up just short. Oakley looking to start connecting on those long range putts. Oscar trying to find his stroke. We saw him, yeah, a little, little shaky on the putts there. So hopefully he can gain some confidence on the back nine. Very casual for Proctor, getting himself back under par. At one point he had been four under, but uh, the course definitely got the best of him in the, the last three holes of the front. Yeah, it took some early kicks that just, yeah, led to long looks. Hole 11, 110 meters. Again, th flying through an initial gap over some rocks and then going to break down and to the right. Expect either to see backhand turnovers with flippy mid-ranges, possibly some forehands out of Yusuf or Eric. Nice. Looks good. Proctor able to funnel himself down there. And just like you predicted, we've got ourselves a forehand. I like that too. And both of those coming up a little bit little bit short, but in position to putt. And I think this is the first forehand we've seen off the tee by Oscar. It looked pretty clean. Had some little hyzer flip on there. I'm not sure if he's got much of a choice with the amount of discs that he has, but yeah, was able to get down there for a putt. It's always a tough decision on these kind of left to right holes if it if it actually does shape up for a forehand. Looking like, I mean, both James and Eric came up a little short, but it looks like it might, yeah, kind of lean towards that backhand that pans out very very late to get that little extra distance nice looking stroke from eric Finally. good connection this time not jump putting from uh outside the circle yeah maybe a little downhill there um using gravity to his advantage but able to connect and good clean putt from Yusuf to collect his par. Proctor's kind of snuggled up against the rock, so he's going to have to cram a size 19 foot behind his mini. They don't call him the vanilla gorilla for nothing. <laughs> Great birdie there from Proctor. Trying to get back on the wagon. 
two down. And Yusuf with three straight pars. I mean, James is right there for the leader on the card. So. Yeah, it happened pretty quick. Hole 12. We've got a par 5 here. Um, playing as the hardest hole in the... Not quite, not okay. quite. It's the fourth hardest on the fourth day. Fourth hardest. I mean, still hard. Looks like he's got, yeah, some, I mean, wooded to start, but then wide open out here. Um, so definitely some distance towards the end. Um, we saw an eagle here by Gustav de Leon, mm -hmm. the uh, Pro Tour leader. Um, so definitely eagle is in play. Proctor showing the over the top the from T. Yeah, tr you hear him encourage himself to hang it out wide, but uh, trying to break the hole a little bit. Eric going to play big turnover shot and pretty good progress. It got clean all the way down there. Yeah, again, I mean, these trees look like they're they're pretty tightly tightly occupied there, so yeah, you hit and drop, really. Proctor just kind of taking that out of question and going over the top, but we see three down the middle plays here. And late drift. Very well thrown. Controlled the entire flight. Yep, that looked like the the ideal line down the fairway. Nice nice stand up to late drift. Looked like it was in the middle of the fairway the whole time. Proctor going hyzer, hyzer. But now out to the open portion of the hole. But finding some trees there. Yeah, filters down. We'll see what he's left with. Oscar's third. And also out into the open. Oh, no. That's OB for sure, dude. Safe? Sick! It was OB. He had some backspin on that thing coming out of the OB. <laughs> L2, L2, L2. Yeah. Um, definitely a lot of OB pins here um, now that we're out in the open. So definitely trying to trying to hold the players true still once mm -hmm. we get get out of the woods. But definitely leans to, yeah, keep, keep it in the fairway. Don't take up some unnecessary strokes. Proctor getting down there for circle's edge. Look for birdie. Yeah, pretty remarkable that he's thrown basically three full power shots and not really gotten full distance on any but the third. Oscar's fourth. And going to come up a little bit short. Uh, may have a stance from there. Eric taking advantage of his good break to come back in bounds and will be well inside the circle putting for birdie. Yeah, it looked like he had a good angle into the green there. Um, the other three guys had to... Ooh, Yusuf tickling the chains there, but it looked like the other three had to navigate that last big... Uh, I think it was a birch tree, but... Mm -hmm. um, so maybe, yeah, dead center in the fairway, you kind of have to pick your, pick your route, but Eric able to spin it back out of the OB, keep it to the left side, and have an easy up and down for the birdie. Well, I said Oscar would have a stance. I didn't know this is what I'd be talking about. Yeah, I wonder if he's just planted a little step ladder in there. <laughs> Up on top of the rocks and able to convert for his par. So Eric going to card the only birdie. Everybody else in with their five. Check out the whole lineup at ClashDisc.com. Hole 13, by far, by far our hardest hole on the day at more than half a stroke over par. 131 meters as a par 3. Uh, get, definitely getting back out into the wind here, Max. Yeah, a lot of big boulders there in the, in the fairway too. I'm not sure landing zone-wise if that plays to the ground play you're going to get, but... I mean, definitely a sizable par three. 
Um, wide open airspace, so if you got the power, like James does, throw the hyzer. It seems like he and Eric are both trying to skull a low hyzer. And that was an out of bounds graphic there. I did not see on the flyover. Um, yeah, I believe those orange stakes are indicating a little cutout in right. the fairway. That was also out of bounds. Um, yeah, could be maybe some kind of an island green there. But you see Yusuf taking a little extra second and going to go select another disc. Yeah, sounds like some pretty strong wind. Headwind right to left, so maybe not the most ideal for the shape shot. Imagine we're getting a backhand hyzer out of Yusuf here, but he's he's thinking about it. Really nicely done, T. There's been amazing coursework all over this property. And as you called, big backhand hyzer. The wind's going to help lift on the end. That's how it's done. Nice I little landing there out in between the, the exposed rock. Mm -hmm. I'd say the weight was worth it. And uh, here, a pretty tough green to park because of the uh, the rock all around it. Hard to get your disc to sit. Yeah, Yusuf found a nice little strip of strip of grass there, but looks like there was like kind of a, a runway safe along the fairway. So maybe you kind of have that choice of mm -hmm. either lay up or go for it. Um, and yeah, Eric able to card the birdie there. Yeah, that's definitely gaining strokes on the field and certainly on his card. As Oscar and Proctor both set to take their fours and Yusuf parked for birdie. Going to get him to himself to four under. Yeah, Eric sneaking up on him though. Three under. I mean, he just finished off with turkey there, so he's right up, right up with Yusuf on the card. Hole 14, we got a 204 meter par 4, still out here in the open, so you can expect some OB stakes, uh, but pretty much well, looks like wide open crush right off the off the tee, and then basket tucked in the corner there. Didn't look like too much shot shaping to do, just kind of get some distance off the tee and find your way to the pin. You said it. We, we go from our hardest hole to the easiest at 0 .32 under par for the entire field. Plenty of room to flex as Yusuf does so nicely. Yeah, I mean, some of these big arms can probably take 60, 70% of that uh, distance out on the tee shot alone, so can expect some, some soft putter up shots. Mm -hmm. You see big late flips from our first three players. And Oscar able to do the same, a little more muted in his flight, net straight, but still well in, in the middle of the fairway. Yeah, he's got a clean release. We saw a little forehand action with him a couple holes ago as well, but nice composed run up, but looks like he's working the angles. Yeah, frustrated to have missed his angle on that shot, but does stay safe. Oakley having to pitch out. That's kind of a an unforced error on the tee shot. Yeah, I mean, with this much airspace, you kind of sometimes get baited into just going max Full power. Mash. Yeah, so to find yourself in those kind of situations happens more often than you'd like, but Eric Oakley definitely knows that those errors are not not really acceptable when you're when you've got this much airspace to deal with like you could just go 100 meters 100 meters or big hyzer and surely have only 80 meters left so yeah and, and i believe with the tailwind that this hole was playing today you don't need to go you know 140 meters no Oscar, unfortunately, I'm not sure if the, he had that tree or sign to deal with, but... 
He keeps finding holes. Yeah. There he is from the little yeah, sinkhole in the ground. <laughs> and going to card a five. Oakley for his par cleanup. Sneaks it over the rim. And now a couple of birdie looks left for Yusuf and Proctor. Oh, this is frustrating. A tougher look on the comebacker now. Yeah, those those limbs looked like they were just just low enough to make you think about it. Mm -hmm. um, Yusuf have that a little high of high release putt. Kind of looks Sepupayu esque, but. So maybe he had to kind of lower his release point, but makes good on the comebacker. I was worried that was going to roll a B too. It looked like that <laughs> yeah, longer grass. Yeah, dangerously close. Yeah. And Proctor carding the only birdie. Hole 15 at 97 meters. This one also among the easier on the course, although it does have elevated basket and then a pretty generous swath of inbounds surrounded by out of bounds. 97 meters is definitely not the longest of par threes, so you could, I mean, power up on a putter, mid, fairway, big hyzer, whatever you feel comfortable about getting it close, not having to putt too long on this elevated basket. Mm -hmm. We're still dealing with a little bit of wind gusts here and there, so we want to keep it tight. This is juice. Yeah, Yusuf going for the big spike. Uh, maybe just picked a little too quick of a disc or had the adrenaline pumping a little too much. <laughs> Mad about missing his last putt. I like the way this is coming in. Yeah, it looks like those lower kind of hyzers had that, had that hill backstop to deal with so if you could like line up your hyzer to to funnel into that you don't really have to worry about going long and a good putt by oscar gonna card his birdie yeah i agree i think getting your shot to be moving from uh right to left as it comes in rather than still pushing straight at the basket uh you know it means you get that backstop and the longest putt you can have is, you know, five or six meters. Exactly. Eric picking up another birdie, taking him to minus four, and unfortunately Yusuf going the other way back down to minus three. We got a par four, 166 meters. Back into the woods. Definitely tight line off the tee. Gonna be dog leg left, about halfway down the fairway. So probably biting off, yeah, maybe only 80, 90 meters to, to start with. And then another downhill finish on this this green. After playing the in the open for several holes, it's gotta be uh Definitely a test to punch back into the woods, and this is the second hardest hole on the day for the course. Wow. Yeah, I mean, coming up, yeah. I mean, four, five, six wide open holes, you are kind of have to challenge yourself to key in on these tighter gaps, throw some more hyzer flips rather than just pure hyzers. Definitely tasking, taxing. And Oakley the most successful on the card. Everybody else kind of gets bogged down early. Yusuf going for a forehand roller and I think you're on the fairway. Good progress. We'll see what that leaves him into the green. Yeah. 
Proctor trying to take the gaps out of play entirely. Yeah, Proctor was looking at a wall of birch trees, so, I mean, very well done to get all the way over them and back to the fairway on the other side. Fortunately, Oscar not able to navigate all the way through. Nicely done. And I think a, a central theme of this hole is you're not going to be able to see the basket until you're right at it. Yeah, that's true. A lot of these greens have kind of just been tucked around a corner, a little down a hill. So really have to trust your preparation, trust your your visuals. Sometimes trust the sign that directs you there. Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine James and Eric had too many practice rounds, so they might be playing it blind. I'm not sure. Nice to help have the course owner. I'm not sure if he's <laughs> solely the designer, but nice to have some input from him at least. Eric gets himself to five under with that jump putt. Yeah. And Yusuf able to clean up his par. I mean, Eric, he was like two or three over through a few holes oh, early. Yeah, really so, I mean, scuffling. To, to be at f five under right now is, yeah, he's caught fire. Caught Yusuf after, yeah, carding an ace and handful of birdies. He's uh, definitely worked himself to the top of this card. Hole 17, 91 meters. A, an initially straight shot, once again flying over boulders and through trees, a little bit downhill, and then breaking back to the right. Oakley going to play high, kind of stalling forehand. Mm. Yeah, it looked like he just caught up the last tree he had to miss to, to be able to give himself a reasonable look at birdie. Mm-hmm. Oscar, that natural pushing hyzer release. Well done. And flatter out of Yusuf. Yusuf's been juicing a couple of shots here. I don't know if he's just pumped to show these Americans what he's got. He just came back from playing the Champions Cup a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that's a couple months ago, but he was there. Um, so looking to show him what he's got on home turf and yeah, just unfortunately going a little bit long in these holes. Um, I don't know if he got punished there with some OB, but definitely going to be challenging fo footing on the, yeah. He does get to say he hit metal off the tee. Hey, <laughs> not wrong. Hit metal off the putt, but unfortunately just the band going to be hopefully carding a par after that. And look at this. Another good putt by Oscar. Yeah, he's been tossing up some birdies there. Proctor able to scramble. That keeps his round going. It's not impressive, but uh, it's it's under par. It's moving in the right direction. Yeah, again, James had had some some struggles there at the end of the front nine. So hopefully finish strong here. 18, 76 meters, and we've got ourselves an island hole. This part looks quite significantly downhill, so definitely have to be careful with the angles. Don't want to air it out too much. Oscar going with a little flex forehand and super parked. Once again, really neat coursework to set up this tee. Bergs don't, yes. don't bounce is correct. And uh, this hole going to give away more than 50% birdies, but also a fair number of bogeys for folks who don't make the island. Yeah, I mean, definitely pretty tight there uh, around the green. It looks like long and left. Mm -hmm. Probably not much more than circle's edge, so I mean, you definitely still have to show some precision and Proctor got a little away from there from the tee, but able to connect on a long putt. Good to finish on a birdie there. Yeah, you see that ties him for 16th place. Oakley almost comes back at him. He will be tied for fourth and once again on 
the gatekeeper media coverage in round two. Yusuf Barry, a, a pretty inspiring four under. Did, had some uh, some missteps, but also threw in that ace and had some great, great other shots. Yeah. Um, like we said, a couple juiced tee shots that got him in trouble, but a lot of highlights there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, four down, nothing to scoff at. But. And, and we'll also shout out Oscar Axelson, the course owner, uh, playing with four discs and closes with three birdies in his last four holes. Uh, what do you see for round two? I see some young guns here. Dennis Augustson, uh, definitely one of the young stars coming out of Sweden, and Elias Grippler, definitely been playing some big tournaments here and there, and definitely a name that you should should know coming out of Sweden. Excellent to see uh, new faces on our round two chase, car- or I'm sorry, our round two lead card at this Swedish Disc Golf Pro Tour event. For Max Rietnig, I'm Andrew Fish, and we certainly hope you'll join us in the next round.